why to eat. People of God, the Bible tells me again, Exodus chapter 12, 25, when you enter the land that the Lord will give you as a promise, observe this ceremony, and 27 it says, then tell them it is a Passover sacrifice to the Lord who passed over the houses of the Israelites in Egypt and spared your homes. You know why you have to take this? So that you can spare from the judgment. Amen. Hallelujah. If you don't absorb this, we cannot be spared from the judgment. That's what Jesus said. I don't have time to go into the New Testament scriptures to see the Gospels and 1 Corinthians Paul is talking about. People of God, as often as you can. This was done only once a year in the days of the Old Testament to the Israelites. But when it comes to the house of God, when it comes to the New Testament, you can do as often as possible, but not individually, but when you come as a church. You are exempted. People have learned the angel of death is passing, and the angel of death is passing, the judgment is passing on. Amen. That means you are spared from the judgment of God. Amen. Hallelujah. What is the judgment of God? If the sinner, he will be judged to the hellfire. That's one thing. And second one is, you will be spared from the destruction of your soul and your body. Amen. Hallelujah. When I'm saved, what does it mean, save? Save means my soul and my body will be spared from the hellfire. Amen. Hallelujah. My soul and my body is spared so that I won't go into the hell. So you'll be spared from it. And the second and the third one is you'll be spared from the plague. Amen. Hallelujah. From plague. Oh, be to God. The destructive plague is coming over. Amen. Hallelujah. So the the passing over of the angel of death will spare not only your personal, I mean not only yourself, but it's sparing your family as well. Amen. Hallelujah. People of God, that's what we do communion as a family of God. Amen. Hallelujah. You get my point now? They all, they didn't do individual meal day. They did as a family. That's what the body of Christ is a family. That's what when we come together as a family, we do these things. Amen. Hallelujah. Not individual. That's what it is. It's fair. The plague. That means the disease. You can even take it. Plague means in a disease. So if you really have the faith in the Lord, when you observe this uh, uh, communion, you'll be healed in the name of Jesus. Amen. I've seen so many cases. Through the communion, people are healed. Amen. Hallelujah. Because the blood and the body of Christ. And you will be spared from weeping like Egyptians. Amen. Hallelujah. When the angel of the past. You know what they? There's a death in the families. Amen. Hallelujah. Every firstborn of Egypt was struck. Every firstborn of Egypt was struck. So there was a weeping and crying. Bible tells me there was never a day like that where there was weeping and crying. But I tell you, if the child of God, you'll be rejoicing. Amen. Hallelujah. You'll be spared from your weeping and from your crying. Because you are saved. In the hands of God. Amen. Hallelujah. You're saved in the blood of Jesus. And the last one, to keep your home safe in the land. As a shape, it is not only just one person experience, it is a family experience. Amen. Hallelujah. Family means it could be your family, and it's a family of God. Amen. Hallelujah. We are all the family of God. We are local church and the universal church. Universal church is a whole body of Christ. And among that God has called the local church so that God has given the souls to the shepherd to take care of the soul so that they can be part of the universal church. Amen. Hallelujah. Remember, if you are not part of the local church, you cannot be part of the universal church. Amen. Hallelujah. God will never ever left a believer without a shepherd.